Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to show you how I made this effect that you see in the thumbnail. Um, I just figured out how to make it, so um, it's really cool. First off, I'm going to start off with a dark background just because I prefer it this way. You can start off with any background you want. Then I'm going to grab my type tool and write my text. Let's write, I'm going to write YouTube. And I'm going to choose a big bold font, so I'm going to go with this font here. I'm going to make it pretty big. Next, I'll go to Filter, um, Blur Gallery, Field Blur, Convert to Smart Object. I'm going to add a bunch of points over here, and then I'm going to edit all of them. And I'm going to make some more blurry, some less blurry, to give it this like weird, um, weird blur effect that it's not equal on all of our text, but some areas are going to be more blurred than others. I really like this effect. When you're happy with it, I'm just going to press enter. Otherwise, you can click OK over here at the top. And this is the result. So pretty cool looking. I'm then going to press Command J to duplicate my layer. And I'll go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. I'll add like Maybe five pixels blur. And I'm going to change the blending mode to something like exclusion. So you get this cool effect. I'm going to duplicate this layer again. Click on the drop down arrow here. Double click on my Gaussian blur. Um, and I'm going to add a bit more over here. Something like 12, I guess, looks cool. It gives you that hazy effect. Now, it doesn't look like much for now, but um, we're going to go ahead and add a curves adjustment. And what we want to do here is just click to add points and we're going to make a crazy, crazy graph over here. So we're going to go this at the bottom and we're going to make this sort of shape. And you can see the effect it has on our text. It just basically adds some lines and gives it that cool effect that you saw in the thumbnail. And I'm going to do the last one here and this one bring it down. You get this sort of effect, which is pretty cool already. Um, I'm basically going to select all my layers right click and convert to smart object. And it'll turn out to something like this. Now, if I ever want to go back, here's why I change it to a smart object, because now I can apply a gradient map to this layer um, without affecting the background so that you can, if you want, have a transparent background, um, if you ever need that. And smart objects are cool because if you double click on them, you it opens up to a new window and you still have your separate layers. So if you ever want to change something, um, you haven't rasterized it. So it's really cool. Um, finally, as I said before, we're going to use a, add a gradient map. Click here to make it into a clipping mask. This way, our gradient map will affect the text only um, and not the background. So if you ever need to like print it on a t-shirt or whatever, that's why it can be very useful. Um, I'm going to just look through my gradient maps, the ones that I already made, and see if there's something that I like. I think the rainbow one looks really cool. And uh, that's basically it. Like, this effect is really cool. Anyways, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to subscribe and comment. Um, also leave a like if you like the video. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!